In this video, I'll show you how to connect your broader laser printer to your computer using a USB cable and not the Wi-Fi. It's very easy. It's actually easier than using the Wi-Fi. So let's get started. Now, most printers, I think most of them these days, do not come with a USB cable. They have the USB port in the back, but they want you to purchase this separately. So if you don't have one, well, I'll put links in the description down below to get one from Amazon. And also get a very small commission every time you do so and support my channel. Now, first step, take the cable, this end over here, well, we'll connect it in the back of the printer. Depending on your model, the USB connector will be on the right side. So go ahead, align it and connect. Now on your PC computer, I mean, this is also doable with a Mac computer. It's slightly different, but honestly, it's almost the same. Take this USB cable and plug it in the port. Just over here. The good news is that you don't have to install anything to make this work. Once the printer is connected in your computer, we need to go into the print settings of your computer. Go in the search bar, this is the easiest way, okay? And type printer. One of the first options should be the printers and scanners menu. If you don't wanna do this, simply press the Windows over here, logo, go into the settings, and then you'll have access to the printers and um, other devices menu. Okay, great, we're in printers and scanners. By default, you should see your broader printer appearing in this list because once you connect the printer to your computer, it will start installing the software that it needs to communicate with the printer. And yeah, you should see it right over there. If you don't see your broader printer, don't worry. I suggest you disconnect the USB cable, restart your computer, once it's back on, plug it back, and hopefully this time the computer will detect it and install the software without you having to do anything. You can also press add device over here if you do not see your broader printer and there's a good chance that it will appear in this list. So once we have the confirmation that it's actually added, let's open any files and show you how um, you get something printed. Press the print icon here. Select my printer in this list and press print. It should be very quick since we don't rely on the Wi-Fi. In around 12 seconds, the print should be out. Here we go. We got our print out. So this is about it. Once you finish printing and let's say you don't want to keep this printer connected all the time, you can go ahead and disconnect it. Okay, nothing will happen. And next time you wanna use it, simply connect it back. It won't, it won't have to install any drivers, anything. So once you connect it in like, uh, in 10 seconds, you'll be able to uh, print again. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, check my Amazon links down below and I'll see you in the next video.